Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about the five best pickup trucks to buy today. The smaller mid-sized ones and the full-size ones. I'm not going to be talking about the giant monstrosities like the F-250s or 350s or higher. I'm talking about regular pickup trucks that regular people want to buy. They have to be reliable. They have to have a reasonable price. They have to be easily repairable because there's no point in having a pickup truck that at a cost way too much money is extremely hard to repair or breaks down a lot now number five on my list is the nissan frontier and i know people are going to say oh scotty you don't like nissans well the frontier is on the list because they've made those things for a long time now a lot of people they poo pooed the frontier because they said Oh, it needs a change. They haven't changed it in years and years. Well, come on, people. It's a pickup truck. It serves a purpose. Now, sure, in 2017, Nissan sold 74,000 Frontiers. You want to compare that to the Toyota Tacoma. 2017, Toyota sold about 200,000 Tacomas in the United States. But even at the base level, the Nissan Frontier is $6,000 cheaper than the Toyota Tacoma. And I've had customers with the Frontiers that were totally happy with the deal. They paid less, and the truck lasted quite some time without any serious problems. From my experience, the Nissan pickup trucks are better built than their cars. So they don't have all the problems, and especially if you're getting a standard transmission truck. Hey, the weakest thing of all Nissans are their automatic transmissions. You get a standard transmission Frontier Eh, I've seen those things with three, four hundred thousand miles on them with basic maintenance done. And it's a decent mid-sized pickup truck. You can get a four-cylinder engine or you can get the V6 engines. Nissan has always made fast engines. And for a pickup truck, they got a decent ride. Nissan's always were pretty good for cornering and riding. So it's not a bad pickup truck to get if you want to buy one of the cheaper ones out there. If you're looking for a mid-sized pickup truck, you're probably thinking economy. You know, you're not going for a big giant one, you're going for a mid-sized one. And it's not a bad truck. I pick it as five. Now, number four in pickups that you can buy, I picked the Ford Ranger. Been around a long time. The new one, you can get a 270 horsepower four-cylinder engine hooked up to that great 10-speed automatic transmission. And of course, being a Ford, the Ranger can be gotten in a four-wheel drive capability. And I've had customers with those, they love them. It's big enough to haul stuff around, but with the four-wheel drive, it's got a lot more clearance in the factory design, so you can legitimately take the thing off-road. To get the optional towing package, you can tow 7,500 pounds with that little baby. So, you know, it can be a serious mid-sized work truck. And I've got customers with Rangers. Hey, some of them have 350,000 miles or more on them, and they're still running pretty good. And if you like technology, hey, the modern one, you can get terrain management settings for the vehicle. It has a setting for grass, gravel, and snow, and another setting for mud, ruts, and sand. And let's face it, Ford's been making pickup trucks for a long time. They keep perfecting the pickup trucks. So, the Ranger's not a bad pick in a mid-sized pickup truck. Now, number three on my list is the Toyota Tacoma. Those things can just run forever. The terrorists in the desert driving around in those things with the machine gun running up back. Now any of you who are experts realize that for a few years in the past they made a problem in the frames and the frames would rot. Now Toyota has given lots of people new frames on the vehicles because of that but that was a while back. They don't have that problem anymore. Now the Tacomas used to be a small pickup. My son's got one that I got for him. They're small little pickups and he loves it. But now really they're a mid-sized truck. They're a lot bigger than the old ones used to be. Now you can get a whole range of Tacomas. My son recently bought a brand new one because the used ones are so expensive. He thought, heck, if I'm going to drive this thing for 30 years, I'll just buy a new one and not have to think about anything. The six-cylinder ones cost a whole bunch more than the four-cylinder ones. So if you want a basic one, you can get a four-cylinder one. But if you don't mind spending the extra money, you get the six-cylinder ones. Got a bigger, faster engine. Can pull a little bit more. That's why the difference between the Tacoma and, let's say, the Nissan Frontier. The Frontiers cost a whole bunch less. But if you don't mind paying that extra, you get a lot better truck with a Tacoma 
then you're doing a frontier if you're going to keep it for decades. I kind of laugh at it myself because I've seen places that rated the Comas as really bad pickup trucks, which is total nonsense. The things can run forever if you take care of them. Now, number two on my list is the Toyota Tundra. Now, in 2016, Toyota bought back a Toyota Tundra from a customer. It was a 2007 Tundra, and it had a million miles on it with original engine and transmission. The Tundra has classic Toyota reliability to it. They can last a really long time. But the reason I have it number two on my list and number one is this. When they do finally break down, they have some design flaws that make them super expensive to repair. For example, you got the V8 engine. Ah, you got to take the intake manifold all apart to get to the starter that's hidden in the back of the engine. It's a real pain in the butt changing a starter out on one of those. And when their axle bearings wear out in the back, they have this crazy axle bearing design that requires all kinds of special pressing tools to get it in and out. I've seen more guys mess those up where the wheel bearing goes out and then three or four thousand miles later, the wheel bearing goes out again because it wasn't pressed in correctly with the correct equipment. They can be kind of a bear to repair as they age. And of course, they're not giving them away. They're pretty expensive, but they are well made pickup trucks. If you're looking for something that you can drive a long time, they ride decently. You might think about getting a Toyota Tundra. You can get the V6 in the Tundra. It still puts out decent horsepower. It's got 278 horsepower with a V6. Plus it gets better gas mileage and doesn't have the maintenance headaches that the V8 engine can have as it ages. Now number one on my list is the Ford F-150. They have been making pickup trucks for so long they keep perfecting them as time goes on. Now I give trucks to road test all the time and a few years back I take my wife for a ride in some of these big pickup trucks and she said, don't do that again, I hate them. These things ride horribly, they bounce all over the place, I feel like the fillings of my teeth are coming out. Well, last year I thought, let's see if things actually have changed. I had a brand new F-150. I told my wife, eh, let's go for a drive to Galveston, Texas. We'll take a look at the ocean. So we're riding down on the highway, I said, well, what do you think of this thing? And she said, I'm shocked. This thing actually rides quite well. Over the years, of course, they've been working on the suspension system. They handle better, they ride better. You can get one of those EcoBoost V6s that's got the turbochargers and the GDI. You can get a traditional V8 engine. You can get a couple other V6 engines in them. Now they even have a turbo diesel in the F-150s. They didn't used to have that. That's a new thing that they recently had. But a lot of guys like the traditional five liter V8 engine. And if you're really into technology, they even have a pro assist backup. So when you have a trailer that the vehicle can take over when you're backing up, so you don't twist everything around backing up with a trailer. And with the massive use of aluminum, they've shed about 700 pounds weight. So for a big pickup truck, of course, they're gonna get a little bit better gas mileage because there's 700 pounds less that they're pulling around. And really one of my big things about pickup trucks is if you want a pickup truck, you want one that is readily and easily repairable. And Fords have been around a long time. There's parts for Fords everywhere. And a lot of guys know how to fix Ford pickup trucks. You're going to be able to get that thing fixed. You're not going to be waiting for parts and waiting for somebody who even knows how to work on the things. So now you know what I think are the five best pickup trucks as there's a whole bunch of them out there and you really need to narrow your focus down. You do need to understand what kind of a truck do you want? Are you going to tow heavy things? Are you not going to tow things? Do you want better gas mileage or do you want to buy a truck that costs less initially or do you want to pay more and get a higher quality pickup truck? At least now you know how to logically pick which truck you should buy. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.